Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and today we're going to start a series that I've been planning for six months, and that's converting WordPress into an Adobe Flex 3 application. Now, I do have a WordPress blog out there. It's Mike's blog. You can find it at flexhacks.org forward slash WordPress. Let's take a look at that real quick. I do update this blog about every two weeks. I'm not a big blogger. However, I have created this blog for this very purpose of converting it into a Adobe Flex 3 application. This is a WordPress application that we're looking at right now. So if you're familiar with blogs, you see the typical menus over here and the blog post here and below the ability to comment. Great. We also have a Google Code project up on this, so you can go and download all the code that we create in this series for free. And that is code.google.com forward slash p forward slash flex WordPress. Here's a look at that site right now. Not much on there, but as we go through this series, we'll be updating this Google Code site. Now, a few things you need to do here before you start this series. This is a mature series. We are going to go all the way with a complete web application and do something that's not trivial. I mean, a lot of people are waiting in line for this particular application, and we've been studying it for a while and are very excited to do this. Now, there are a few things you need to do before you watch this series. You need to go to my YouTube, which is at youtube.com forward slash Mike NKU, and watch the following two videos, installing WAMP and creating a MySQL database, and PHP MySQL Flex 3 client server application. Now if you're running on a Linux or Mac, just install LAMP or MAMP, and the installation is very similar. After you've done those couple of things, you want to go to wordpress.org forward slash download, and download WordPress. Let's do that right now, and let's get into the architecture of that PHP application. I am on the WordPress site right now, wordpress.org forward slash download, and we're going to download that zip file onto our desktop and unzip it and look at the architecture just a little bit. So hit download and save. So I've downloaded WordPress on my local machine and unzipped it, and here's the WordPress folder. Let's click on that, and you can see there's a lot of PHP files here. And if you go into the other files, WP Admin, yet even more, and WP Includes. And if you're familiar with PHP, you know what an Includes file is. And WP Content, a lot of stuff there, plugins and themes. Now we can go about creating a Flex bridge between the PHP and Flex 3 and using all these PHP uh, files as the underlying mechanism to drive our WordPress. However, we're going to take another approach, and that is we're going to grab this WordPress database and we're going to build a complete Flex 3 application from that database. And so kind of a different approach of what's being taken but after our experience of trying to build the bridge, we feel like this is the right approach. So hang on. This is a mature series. We are going to go all the way and build a complete WordPress client server application in Adobe Flex 3. So at this point, what I want to do is I'm going to navigate to my WordPress onto my server and I'm going to extract that database and we're going to bring that into Flex 3 and start working with it right away. So I've logged into the control panel of my particular server, and yours will look different depending on what server you're on, but the procedure will be the same. So go to PHP My Admin, and over on the left here, you can see all the different tables or databases that we have on this particular server. I'm looking for WordPress, and here below we see there's a WordPress 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Not sure which one is mine. However, I'm thinking it's the more mature one, the one that has 14 tables. Now, so you can see that the initial install of WordPress is only 10 tables, which is great in comparison to a program like Moodle, for example, which has a large number of tables. WordPress is easier to hack, a great place to start. So we're going to click on this 14 and make sure that it is my particular database. And we can see there's a number of tables in this database, 14. And let's click on the first one, Categories, and take a look at that. So we want to see if this is our database. So let's click on Browse and see what's in the table. 
and scroll down here and you can see names like blog roll lms globalization singularity what's up front page book news so yes indeed this is my database so let's go back and export this we're going to click back a few and there's all my tables and we're going to export this to my desktop and then bring this into flex 3 so hit the export button so let's export this particular database and let's go up to export here's all the tables right here let's make sure that SQL is checked and there it is and let's save the file as a zip file since it should be fairly large and hit go and hit save and we'll just put it on our desktop now let's go ahead and unzip that file and see what we got and we got a single file flex hack underscore wordpress2 let's open this up in wordpad So what you see is all the SQL language required to recreate that table and all the data that goes into those tables. Isn't that fantastic? Let's get that into Adobe Flex.